I will never listen to the canon. No matter what your friends do, Malami. Hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Where I will tell you the truth, the way things are. Now, I believe some of you have not forgotten. Years ago, why Mas Nandekano was kidnapped by Malami and his collaborators from Kenya. There was a press brief to his Fufude people in the language. Later on, we find out that Mas Nandekano was kidnapped. After that, few weeks, Miami tweeted something that, is, that was very bad. When he told everybody his tweet that he is going to continue to detain Mazen Namdekan, he will not release him even if the court says otherwise. That tweet is still somewhere my boss. And I am going to unleash it if you think maybe I'm exaggerating or I'm making this up. He claimed that he will poison him gradually and nobody will know until he dies. He also boasted in that tweet how he collaborated with soldiers to murder his parents. And you and I know how Mazenam the Colonel's parents suffered and died because of the atrocities that soldiers committed in his home. He made a lot of comment in that tweet. And I was part of those who collected that tweet. I registered this so hidden in my inbox because of today. Because I was, because I did not take his threat for granted. Today, that thing he said has come to play. You and I have seen how long Namdi Kano has been in DSS custody. How long he has suffered in this custom? How different court of court has proven him not guilty and discharged him upon that debate? Malami and his collaborators, the Bogotu governors, the Buhari being posted in Asorok, and DSS, in collaboration with the British government, has refused to release the gentleman. But what baffles me is why the so-called judiciary has refused to call a spread a spread to tell Malami to his face that he's going this thing the wrong way. They were the one who discharged Mazen Namde Khan. But at the same time, they accepted the stay of execution of Malami. Now the question should be, which game are they playing with Biafrance? Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm aware Malami is playing a game. I'm aware also that British government is playing games with Biafrans. I'm aware also that the APC government is playing a game with the life of Martin Nam the Kano and Biafra restoration. But the question is this, which game is judiciary playing? This is what they have to tell us. I like it when people are brave enough to say what they are capable and how they are going to do it. Not some people hide them in the dark to commit atrocities. You openly declare this man free in a pick court. Later on, some people were transferred. And at the same time, you accepted the stay of execution from Malami. Some people may see that thing as if nothing is wrong with it. 
But from the beginning, I know that something was wrong. Because when you claim that nobody will judge somebody's case, and for that, they use that opportunity to keep him illegal in DSS custody, even after he has been released by court of law. But the question is, why is the judiciary not doing the right thing? Why are they playing game with the life of millions of Biafrans and Nigerians? They should be somehow protecting the law that they made, the constitution. But at the same time, they are not doing that rather. They are busy destroying the so-called constitution that was made by them. Which is very, very bad. Every thing Malami said years and few months ago has come to play. Though he came out, later came out, they debunked that tweet. But he did not debunk the, that the tweet is coming from his Twitter account. Meaning that that thing leaked from his Twitter account or somehow he was trying to play game with the head of people. But as far as I'm concerned, everything he said has come to play. Some of you, if you think maybe I'm making this up, I am willing to unleash that particular tweet. It's still in my box somewhere. I will find it and unleash it for public to see. That everything he said is not playing on. If not, what's the game? Why are they still keeping them the calm? Do they want to destroy Ibo land before they lose him? That is one. Two. Our so-called unknown government should know their priority. Do I know that some of them are not even our people? They are created by governors to unleash mayhem on other politicians. That's not my problem. If you want to leash your mayhem on your politicians like you, that is your own cup of tea. My problem is just to remove the name of Mazin and the Khan from it. He did not tell you to unleash any mayhem on anybody. He has nothing to do with you. He is suffering alone in DSS custody for standing tall for the restoration of Biafra. And this is what he will continue to do because he is a brave man who knows the right thing, not some people who are somewhere around him. Unknown government should stop going around kidnapping local government chairmen, kidnapping traditional rulers. We all know that they are created by politicians with the help of some people, both in diaspora and otherwise. But they should stop putting the life of our innocent brothers and sisters in danger for no reason. We are fighting for restoration of Biafra. Amaz Nandi Kalum made that possible. And it was working so fine before people kidnapped him all of a sudden. Some people see that opportunity to destroy our land. Some of you will not agree with me, but one day you will agree more than those who first agreed. I will continue to be in upright star because I've gone to that way you're going now before. And I've seen there's nothing in it. After everything, you make so much money, but after everything, you end up in a tense you do not even believe you end up on. I'm saying this because some people are going around duping our brothers and sisters in the name of youth fundraising of ESN. I'm going to make this thing clear. There is nothing like youth fundraising of ESN. Nan the Colonel was the person who created the ESN and he, is, he has never denied it. And the ESN he created is a security outfit to protect our land, not to kill our people. And which he has already said that in several ways. And before he was kidnapped, they are no longer taking members on ESN. Even almost two, three months before he was kidnapped. There is nothing like a member being taken by ESL. So he was kidnapped then. All of a sudden, we are now seeing different groups coming out from different places. 
duping our brothers and sisters both in Biafra land uh, for those ones in Despera they want to become Mugu on their own that is their own cup of tea that's an Okosami but those of them in Biafra land who have suffered so much in the hands of Janjawi government at the same time being duped by some people like Chiamaka or whatever he calls himself and Asoka and those collaborating with them in the name of fundraising for ESN the question that the answer we want to know is this which of ESN are you fundraising for? People should ask this question so that let us know how many ESN we have in Ibo land. Let us know where our problem is coming from. I will not keep quiet when things are going wrong. If they did not mention the name of ESN fundraising you to whatever, I will not say anything. Anybody can go around and do people who want to do. Those who want to be duped will be duped. As far as this struggle is concerned, Nandi Kalu did not bring this struggle to do for duping people, no. He struggled on his own, him and his wife, until little by little he started rising. People started believing in him. But some criminals from different places now, all of a sudden, you will hear fundraising, you fundraising for ESN, you will hear this, you hear that. But the question is can they openly be brave enough to tell us who are the ESN that they are fundraising for? Which of the ESN? Because IPOB has said that they are in charge of ESN, which of course has not the color created. And there's no how somebody else will create ESN and somebody else will be taking charge. Take charge. That is not possible. Now, the question is this which of ESN is people like Chiamaka fundraising, youth fundraising for? He should openly tell us that. He should make a video or audio, whatever. To tell the Bia France which of ESN is fundraising, nobody should come and talk rubbish. Eh? We are in this struggle and we have to know what we are doing and where we are heading to. Since some of you have refused to use, use your brain or your head, which of ESN is Shamaka fundraising you fundraising for? He should openly, as a brave man, he claimed to be a brave man, to tell us which of ESN. Let us be sure how many ESN we have in Nibo land so that we will know where our problem is coming from. Or if, of course, he is the one recruiting a non government, then let him also let us know if the, is the good or non government is recruiting or the bad ones who are killing our mothers. This thing is supposed to be said, and people should ask him this question. Both him and the Madmazok, whatever he calls himself, I don't know where she's coming from. Or it can come from Peter Fair. What I'm saying here is that everything should be done accordingly. If really we are fighting for struggle, because ever since Mazen and the Kalu was kidnapped, things are getting out of hand. We are being sick, Malami, and his DSS, and judiciary. Now we are being sick, Biafra, and some Biafrans who are duping our brothers and sisters. You can go ahead and dupe those in Despera, that are on cup of tea. But those ones in the Ibo land, the Biafra land, who are suffering, why duping them? Lying to them? When you know that you cannot do anything to the Nigerian government, you are not prepared, you have nothing. For it. The question is, the money you have been getting all this while, whom are you giving it to? Which ESN are you sending the money to? Can you tell us? These are the things that we should ask in this struggle. Do not say I did not tell you because one day you are going to regret this thing you have done, you are doing. It cannot be cannot continue to do people because you are a 419 nobody knows who you are you have right to do whatever you want you are a human being but when it comes in this struggle you have to explain to us all this money you have been collecting from people do people from people i call it do because that's what it is i'm sure of that which of esn are you giving it to which of esn are you giving it to which of esn did you recruit any other ESN apart from the one and the car recruited this is just a question let us be sure of what is happening in our land because every day we hear from the rising upon the people are dying in our land, flying and coming to our to keep people, and nobody is stopping them. Apart from the ESN of Nam Khan, which of course they have tried their best, it can't be they are trying while soldiers are attacking you back and front. It's not an easy job. So which of ESN? In this talk, I don't give a damn about who you are or who anybody is. I've said this several times. The only person I, I give my to this this talk is Mazen Nam Khan. But the question is this. Which of ESN are you recruiting? Are you giving the money that you are fundraising? People should ask this question. 
And today is going to be the last I'm going to ask this question. I will not be here. And people who think that they have monopoly in doing 409 continue to dupe innocent Bia France and Biafra land. Suffering. They can go ahead and dupe their diaspora members. After they are making the money. They are good to dupe. But when it comes to those dying in Biafra land that center are duping them, when nothing is doing show up, we will not take it. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay, Biafra.